very, very pleased to have Manuel here. He's from my hometown and he's bringing IoT into agriculture, which is amazing. It's a hot topic at CES right now and uh, with the Midwest here around, so that's that's the best region to promote it. And I'm very happy to have him on board and yeah, look forward to his presentation. Yes, thank you very much for having me, for inviting me. Um, yeah, I prepared a short presentation about uh, our company. I directly try to share it. Uh, can you see it? Yeah, great. Um, yes, uh, so I'm Manuel, uh, the founder and CEO of Coritech. And um, yeah, as you see on this upper left corner on the image, that's me with my father uh, in my early ages um, on the farm of my father. And uh, he's doing pig farming and crop farming and yeah, in the use, I always say that I helped him a lot in the stable, uh, caring for the pigs. And I see a lot of changes. So today he's mostly working in his office um, with all the documentation stuff here in Germany. And I think this is, yeah, this is really bad because he's the best expert on the farm and he's only working with paper and not with the animals. So this is what Covitech is um, aiming to do. Uh, we want to automate the, um, yeah, the documentation, the bureaucracy and make it transparent and verifiably correct. So the farmer has more time to care for his animals. And so we started thinking about uh, what is really a pain point and uh, looked at the sales process as when the farmer kept the animals for several months um, and sells the pigs in this case um, yeah he has no control anymore so he has to count them he has to weigh them um, and um, so this is a task that is necessary um, evil for even for legal uh, circumstances so, and we saw this as a really difficult task, as you can imagine, looking on this video. Um, so, we had a look on that. When the seller, for example, is selling 1,000 pigs and he really counted right, and the buyer uh, only counts 992 pigs, for example, then the buyer wouldn't pay 1,000 pigs because he thinks he only got 992. Uh, so this is a loss of money for the seller, even if he had to invest into 1,000 pigs. So, and it's pretty similar the other way around. Like you see here, even as a buyer is counting a few more, he wouldn't say, okay, the invoice is wrong. Uh, he would say, oh, I probably counted not right. And um, so we see this problem in Germany and worldwide. Um, so the, the problem is manual counting. And uh, this leads to mistakes, lots of sales, lots of time, and uh, animal stress as well. As you try to group the animals in small groups to count them uh, at least as correct as possible, um, then it's, it's stress for the animals. So um, yeah, and last but not least, bureaucracy, you have to uh, make the documentation about the numbers. And um, yeah, if you have a look on the videos and the, and the pigs are still in the boxes, uh, it's not easier to count them because they run around and uh, yeah, you, you will make some mistakes. So um, we calculated it for 1.5 billion pigs worldwide. Um, what leads to uh, 720 million US dollars loss. Uh, as our calculation is uh, saying, so we made a small study about that. Uh, what's the different or what are the miscounts? And uh, they, uh, all the farmers count less uh, in average. So um, this was the reason we developed the COVID tech pick counter. It's, uh, yeah, this tool you can see here. Um, it's a camera device you put into the hallway 
and it's uh, automatically evaluating the number of the picks. So you avoid mistakes, costs, and time. Uh, um, and of course, um, we can focus more on the animals. And but the, the, the biggest advantage with uh, our system is the video review. I have an example. Like here, every pick is marked with a dot, so the farmer can prove that the number he delivered is 100% correct. But of course, this is just our first product and we want to go further. We are already working on um, animal health detection and behavior and analysis to, to help the farmer further. And yeah, the aim is to relieve the farmer to um, yeah, improve the animal health and welfare and to give the chance for the farmer to prove his good work to the society to gain more trust. As this is a really big topic in Germany, at least. This is our team currently working on the topic. So we are still small and we are uh, working on an uh, investment round at the moment in Germany. So uh, we want to grow and that we are able to, to deliver to all our customers asking for the system. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so just contact me if you have any questions and if you want to grow with us and or invest with us or even buy our, our products, feel free to contact me. How much Thank money you. are you trying to raise? Sorry? How much money are you trying to raise at the moment? 600k euro. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. And, I, and some questions I had is the, in Andreas, if you can mute when you're not speaking, we're getting a little bit of audio feedback. So if that's uh, something you can do, awesome. And so, Manuel, thank you so much for the presentation. A question I have is, is this also an R, is it a two-part system, like an RFID chip and a camera that senses them, or is it all just uh, camera and facial and facial recognition? It's 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 just a camera. So, in our opinion, uh, I also have a slide. I think for that. Uh, one second. Yeah, right here. Um, in our opinion, especially for 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 fattening pigs. Um, it's it's not useful to use uh, RFID chips or uh, ear tags um, in in a lot of cases as um, yeah as the costs are still very high and there's not that many data assembled or that can be assembled at the moment. In the future, this might be a bit different, but uh, at the moment, it's yeah it's even not more accurate. To use uh, your text. Okay, so you're using. Oh no! I was just getting getting an understanding that the camera technology is able to be a lot. It obviously is less invasive uh, for the animal because obviously you're not putting a chip on them or a tear a tag on them, but it, you're able to get the accuracy on the slippage. Because uh, on the counts, yes, yes, right. So, so, so mm -hmm. we we are counting uh, at the at the moment we are counting, uh, in average, more than ninety nine point eight five percent correct, and um, due to very very short video clips, we can enhance this ninety nine point eight five percent to one hundred percent. And then making the assumption you have a patent on the on the process. Um, no, to be honest, we decided uh, not applying for 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 a patent so far. Uh, or no, not so far because we are all already selling this uh, since 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 more than a year, and um, so we 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 decided to uh, to. Uh, openly uh, share this this basic idea um, because yeah we are 
in the opinion that this is a basic technology that should be used in a lot more cases. And um, so we just start with this product uh, selling to, 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 to start growing. And the, the main idea of this is just a sensor, uh, of course, a really important sensor. But um, we want to connect this with a, with a big platform and put much more sensors uh, to it. And uh, at the end, the, 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 big, the big vision, I would say, is, uh, is the aim afterwards. Okay. And so how many installations have you, uh, have you installed over the last couple of years? So how many, how many clients do you have? We started uh, last year. Um, so in the last year, we, we won uh, several um, yeah, smaller clients first. And uh, at the moment, we are also counting the piglets of the largest sow farm in Germany, for example. And um, we are talking to several big um, piglet producer in, in Denmark. For example, so at the moment we are only focused on on Germany and and our neighbor countries, um, but we already started looking uh, over overseas where to go and uh, yeah to evaluate when to start going overseas. Okay, and so your your company basically has the sensor. It, you're selling a a camera that's in the the back the back of the house that does the counting um yes so we are we are, we are selling the camera system and the software as well so uh we are mainly focused on the software but um yeah at the moment we are still producing or not really completely producing but assembling uh the hardware as well and uh send it out and just for so for those who don't know, because I don't know off the top of my head, uh, a a a pig farmer in the United States, what's the average amount of livestock that they have for a, a small to medium uh, facility? And so understanding how they can how this helps them uh, with uh, you know what we call leakage for for their uh, inventory. Oh, in uh, actually, in any country, uh, as in, I was just trying to use this as, as you're looking to expand and possibly come to the United States, understanding that you know the a an average pig farm in the United States is of a certain size and has this amount of uh, sows, and by doing this, you know, you're able to reduce, you know, have a much more accurate count. And so they just want to understand that uh, this competitive advantage they get from your sensor gives them uh, a whole lot of different pieces. You illustrated some of that, which is peace of mind, accurate counting, being able to be uh, – people are only receiving what they've ordered is great, but also coming down to brass tacks of you know, roughly what is that cost savings they're going to – be able to recapture by making their inventory loss that much uh, lower. Yes, yes. So um, probably just with the number of the pigs um, in Germany, we, uh, we we slaughter a bit less at the moment than fifty million pigs, and I think in the Midwest region it's about one hundred fifty million in the US. So. Um, yeah, it's it's three times the size of German pigs, and um, worldwide, uh, yeah, last year uh, definitely a bit less than uh, 1.5 billion pigs were slaughtered. So uh, the most pigs are living in in China, uh, nearly 50 percent or about 50 percent of all the pigs, and. Um, Yes, yeah, so so this to the size um, or the number of the pigs. Um, we we made a small study in uh, in sow houses here in Germany, and uh, we um, 
yeah saw that we can change uh, we can save um, up to uh, 36 cent per pick uh, um, compared to counting them manually so um, yeah depending on that the, the the market size just for counting and the the management of the numbers in in our opinion is about 800 to uh, 1 billion uh, euros just, right. just for counting and management so from here what are some of the next steps you're looking for for resources in uh, in the united states or the chicago uh, region um Yes, so we, we also got um, yeah, several clients asking for our system um, from, from the Midwest region. So, so we already started a year ago to, to just start to communicate, to, to, to build a network and um, yeah, to, to keep in contact to, to, to make a plan how to move over to, to reach the first clients, the first pilot customers. We, uh, we think we have to uh, yeah, redefine a few parts probably of our product and, and uh, make some connections to other systems that are used in the US. And um, uh, then we would like to, uh, to, to go over and sell our systems in the US as well. Okay. Well, great. And so, Emmanuel, what I'll do is I'll put you in touch with a couple of people that I know over the next couple of weeks and reach back out to you. And I wanted to thank uh, Andreas for bringing you to the panel today. I know we're kind of getting short on time, and but again, your the information on your company is in the exhibit hall. And anybody who's in our system can go and look at your information and be able to contact you. So I wanted to say thank you very much for uh, bringing this to our attention. I think it's a great technology.